Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, look, uh, I'm being Eddie Munson for Halloween in honor of this amazing show that we're closing out today. Uh, she's just in the Hellfire Club, so I guess we started letting girls in. And another thing is, uh, I'm trying to be Eddie Munson. I feel like I'm coming across more like Argyle. Uh, I don't know if this wig's working, but I'm going to do my best to wear it. It's awfully itchy because it is cheap as hell. I just want y'all to know. Amazon, baby. The... the the Eddie Munson starter pack. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Um, Mrs. October convinced us that we just have to dress up because she had so much fun dressing up like uh, Uma Thurman's the daughter. Strip. The Scoop's Troop. Absolutely. Troop. Right. And uh, she just thought it was so much fun. So yeah. she wanted to do it one more time in honor of this awesome show because these shows don't grow on trees. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it, man. I'm ready to go. A lot of people said it's about to be emotional and all that good stuff. Oh, so great. I'm just ready to get into it. Let's go. Let's go. Man, it'd be so cool to go somewhere with snow like that. You no. Nope. I ain't never seen it, guys. Good news, my friends. Katinka feeling better. Shall we give her another <laughs> try? Why not? <laughs> Asshole. No, he just pulled something slick. Get your hands off me, potato head. You're trying to break her, aren't you? <laughs> get us captured again so you can get your reward. That is. What do your two lizard brains know? You're engineers now? I know that sound is not good. On contrary, those noises you hear that <laughs> it's very good sign. Good sign, huh? Yeah. My woman make noise when I please them. <laughs> you don't know what that is like, I understand. But for those like me who knows what and where to touch, much noise. <laughs> he is single as hell though. He is too much. This guy is too much. Oh yeah, they're waiting for a phone call. These are the smallest I could find. That's it for shirts. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'll go over here. Okay. Dang, they haven't seen each other in a while. They're sort of flirty. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't trying to see Mama Joyce like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hopper went through it bad, huh? Heck yeah. What did they do to you? Oh my god. No, it's not that bad. You know, I needed to lose weight anyway. Yeah, Hopper, you look good. I mean, it's actually giving me time to think, you know, about it, where I've been and what I've done. I never should have sent you that message. You didn't know what was going to happen. I knew it would be dangerous. So did I. I made this choice, and I would choose it again, even knowing everything that I know. I would. Plus, you know, we do have that date to get to, <laughs> remember? <laughs> remember? I've been dreaming about it. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I have it all planned out. <laughs> Pray tell. I'm getting two orders of breadsticks. Two. Those things knock your socks off. Enzo put some spice on them. I don't know what it is, but it's good. So you've been dreaming about breadsticks and lasagna. <laughs> I would be too if <laughs> I was been on him. a diet of watery soup, moldy bread, and maggots. So yeah, I've been dreaming about breadsticks and lasagna. I'm assuming. <laughs> His voice sounds different too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. There's a wine. Oh, wine's good. I was thinking about a nice Chianti. Chianti. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then there's dessert. I gotta have dessert. Gotta have dessert. Dear Mizzou. Um, after that? I don't know. Use your imagination. Who needs imagination? Oh, let's go, huh? <laughs> Murray's probably gonna walk in. Oh, oh the phone. Remember, <laughs> they're listening. Okay, I wanna run through it one more time. Phase one. We meet Erica at the playground. She'll signal Max and Lucas when we're ready. Phase two. Max okay. baits Vecna. He'll go after her, which will put him in his trance. Phase three. Me and Eddie draw the bats away. Four. We head into Vecna's hopefully newly bat-free lair and flambe. Nobody moves on to the next phase until we've all copied. Nobody deviates from the plan, no matter what. Got it? Got, got, got it. it. Hey, he is wearing a bandana. Dustin looks tough right now, don't he? I know. I like what he's got going on. <laughs> What's that? Oh, just a headband with a hoodie on? That was cool. Like a headlamp? Yeah. Yeah, you should have seen all the little fake Eddie Munson's on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I should have been Steve. I couldn't pull off that hair, though. It's just too much. No, you just have to get a wig like that. Man, there's nothing. They don't sell wigs like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's Steve Harrington. Whoa, what does he want us to do? Applaud? <laughs> all right. Let's go. Gotcha. 
He looks like a Call of Duty character. Right, and I love Robin's hat. They went all out with these, like with the costume Thank designs. God. Listen, if things here start to go south, I mean at all, you abort, okay? Draw the attention of the bats, keep them busy for a minute or two. We'll take care of that now. Don't try to be cute or be a hero or something, okay? You guys are just decoys. Deep. Don't worry, you can be the hero, Steve. Absolutely, <laughs> I mean, look at us. We are not heroes. Hey, Steve, make him pay. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna get got in this episode and that's not good. Yeah, that's strong feeling. One more time. Well, at least for a while. Yeah. Can you please not shake? <laughs> I don't wanna have to fix your wig the whole time. I'm already starting to cry. <laughs> this thing is itchy. Hey, how long is this? Oh, let's go. This is two hours? Oh, that's sick. Brother, I thought we was about to be done in like an hour. Oh man, I love that. Thank you so much, Duffer Brothers. <laughs> Chapter nine, the piggyback. Which means an assist of some sort. I don't like it. I don't like that phrase. Assist? Mm-hmm. I love assist. No, no. Like I said, I, I've, I've tried everyone. Yeah, TWA, Pan Am, Eastern. No, no, it doesn't have to be a one way. I'll take one seat if you have it. I mean, please, there has to be something you can do. One of our family members is really, really sick, and, and I don't know if she's going to make it through tonight. No, no, no. Like I said before, I, I've tried them. There's no one there. The Grand Canyon? Earliest is tomorrow. No, what? Th that's way too late. I know. I have a way, a way to protect Max from here. This is Max. When Aww. one attacks, he will be in her mind. But I can do that too. I went into Mama's mind, into Billy's. I can go into Max's. She can carry me to Vecna. I can protect her from one. Fight him from here. Wait, that's so you actually crazy. think this can work? A bathtub would help. Yeah, gotta be clean to enter the mind. <laughs> no, no, it's a sensory deprivation tank. It helps her calm down and focus on her powers. Well, how much shall we talk in here, my dude? Well, it depends on the size of the tub, but a lot. Does 600 pounds suffice? You know yeah. a place that has 600 pounds of salt? This is shaping up to be my favorite episode already. <laughs> it started out so good. They are so brave. goodness if these kids pull this off they're the clutchest kids to ever live i know 100 percent. no don't climb up there no oh so she's not in the upside down right no 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 that's why they're they're looking for him with the lantern right that's why she found him out it's just creepy as hell in there with mm. the blue light All right, we get it. <laughs> Don't come across Eddie. Hey, I think we got something. Send Ryan. I don't want to waste any more time with bullshit leads. I don't think you'll want to send Ryan on this one. You know the murder house on Moorhead? Yeah. What about it? Oh, no. They're going to be interfering. The whole time, they're going to be okay, getting in the way. Uh, who exactly so annoying. was this mystery woman? I'm not sure. I mean, she wasn't exactly Miss Talkative. You know, I spent five minutes trying to convince her I was real. I'm supposed to be dead, remember? Anyway, I finally get around to half convincing her. She starts to open up a little bit, and then she says that she's... A friend of the docks. Great, so am I. Now put me on the phone with him. I'm afraid the doc is indisposed. Indisposed? It gets worse. She said the docks with the girl, and the girl went off to fight some evil in Hawkins. Then they all went off grid, the dock, the girl, everybody. The girl meaning L. Yeah, it has to be. This is your daughter, American. Mm -hmm. And they're not alone. Joyce's kids are with them. I really hope they reunite. Okay, I, I see the mood here is bleak, and understandably so. But I do think we need to consider the very real possibility that this mystery woman is in fact KGB. And she's no, she's telling the truth. 
When we were in the lab, those particles we saw, they were alive. And if they're alive, that means a gate to open in Hawkins. True. We broke out. We can break back in. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Trust me on this one, my dudes. <laughs> they have 600 pounds of salt in there? Well, you might, you might need salt to rise some dough or something. I don't know. You see this weird girl behind me? She needs a tub with a bunch of salt so we can enhance her psychic powers so she can save the world from this super bad dude. But to make this salty tub, we require your kitchen. Well, it's just uh, supposed to meet Chas a Taco Bell in like 10, so. <laughs> My dude, we're not asking you to help for free. You ever partake in purple palm tree delight? You ever partake in some dutchies? float away like the seed pods of a dandelion in the wind. Jonathan knows about that at the gate, <laughs> the airport gate. <laughs> Basically, Argyle just saved the world. <laughs> My dude. First ever mind fight held in a pizza dough freezer. Pretty rad, right? <laughs> that is pretty rad. The health inspector gonna shut that ass yeah. down, boy. <laughs> hey, but it was for the sake of the world, okay? Look at his gun, like, uh, ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Now for the fun part. It's like she was destined for an alternate dimension. How do I know? <laughs> <laughs> How do I know? Are you ready for the most metal concert in the history of the world? Yes, Is let's that a rhetorical go. question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. What's he about to play? <laughs> So he's about to hold like an upside down concert. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess it draw in the batch or something. Yeah, it's like Alan Wake too. If you guys played that, you know. This tree before. That's impossible. That would suck, right? If Vecna destroyed the world because because we got lost in the woods. We're not lost, Robin. <laughs> Robin, Wait. hey, watch out for the vines. Hive mind, remember? Thank you. Ah, uh, don't worry about her. She's just stressed. You know, scared. <laughs> you guys, awesome news. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we were going the wrong way after all. God. That's not unresolved, hey, didn't it? Yeah. We gotta get some closure on Rob, that. Slow down, Rob, Robin. You know, I forgot about Nancy and, and Jonathan. You know? It's been like a whole season of none of that. Erica. Did you see all those bats circling it though? I love their outfits. I don't know, Jim. I got a bad feeling about this. There's probably no guards left. They're all eight. They're in there going to war, boys. Use your Hulk Hogan strength. Yeah, what should I have to ask? If I don't want to ask, you're like that with a kind of trust. Yeah, like that. You're smiling. You can be whoever you want. I'm a enemy, but trust. Never. If you do that, then why do you have to get out of the way? Why do you have to get out of the way? Why do you have to get out of the way? Why do you have to get out of the way? Why do you have to get out of the way? Они поведали нам о том, какое есть на свете великое зло. Оно не первое, чем не остановится, и границы ее он не удержит. После того, как оно пошлет все на их земле, оно придет за нами. To the motherland. За нашими семьями. Мадараша. <laughs> за нашей родиной. Hell oh, yeah, yeah, I told you. Ты же mother... своими глазами это видел. И знаешь, что это правда. И все равно продолжаешь водить всех санов. Я слыхал, что какой-то контрабандист ореховой пасти был никогда отличным парнем. До того, как разменялся на выпивку и карты. Что он повел со собой ребят против китайцев на Даманском. Ведь это правда? Правда. Ну и где он сейчас, этот герой? А то я что-то его не вижу. Let's see it. Damn, it only took a fellow Russian to try up his Russian-ness. <laughs> yeah. Kicked his ass in the gear, didn't it? Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's put it back in. Yeah, he's been low-key tearing that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> been running up that hill. Been running up that building. <laughs> <laughs> you would have not put an E or apostrophe on that. I knew you were going to say that. Okay? <laughs> I do it out of rebellion at this point. That's how y'all can tell who's responding in the comment sections. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Okay, the lovebirds have copied. <laughs> Max is moving into phase two, distracting Vecna. 
So far, so smooth. Yeah, we're not even at the hard part yet. Take the bait, you son of a bitch. Take the bait. Oh, goodness. Don't turn it off, Max. No. Oh, I wish Elle was there already. No, we hey. need to get back over there. It's less stressful. <laughs> Asshole! I'm here. No more music. No more games. Do you hear me? What are you waiting for? Huh? Come on, do you want me or not? Mm. Oh, he's right beside you. Is he like leaning or yeah. somewhere? But let's be real, everybody. Lucas is a hell of a boyfriend. Yes. Okay. So, hopefully this blocks out any peripheral light. <laughs> and it's totally dark, which means it works. Those little glasses. I bet she really wished she could do that with all of that water. I found them. Oh. They're carrying a light, a blue light. This is crazy. What are you waiting for, asshole? Huh? I'm right here! Okay, Elle, what's going on? It's not working. What? What's not working? Max's plan. I know you can hear me. I know you can read my thoughts. Even the worst ones. Maybe mostly the worst ones. Oh, no. Vetna said, put your guns down. I thought about what you said, about how I wanted my brother to die. I thought that you were just trying to upset me, to anger me. But you weren't, were you? You were just telling the truth. Billy, he made my life living hell every chance he got. So sometimes when I would lie in bed at night, I would I would pray that something would happen to him, something awful. I knew that he drove too fast, so I would imagine him crashing, dying in that stupid car. I wanted him out of my life forever. I wanted him to disappear. The day that he died, I think that's why I just stood there, watched. Not because I was scared or weak, but because I didn't know if he deserved to be saved. Mm. And I've tried to forgive myself. I've tried, but I can't. Well, I'm glad it's not up for me to judge these things, because that's tough. I don't know. Now when I lie in bed at night, I pray that something will happen to me, that something terrible will happen to me. So that's why I'm here. But I just want you to take me away, and I want you to make me disappear. She's just so young. She has no Is idea. That all true. You wanted Billy to die. Why are you talking? You ever have thoughts like that about me? No, Lucas. Never. Normal people don't fantasize about killing other people, Max. You are sick. Lucas, you don't mean that. Maybe it is good he takes you. No way that's Lucas. You're right, that's not Lucas. That's not Lucas. I'm glad it's going to be you. Mm -mm. You will be the chosen one. It's, it's going to be you that breaks the world. Mm -hmm. Max, can you hear me? Max! Max! He has her. Max. Where are you going? Don't, Don't be scared. scared. Stay away from me. Max, what if you were ready? Max has got so much fight in her. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just hold on a little longer. Oh. I'm so, so sorry, Max. Max. It's going to be okay. This is getting so good right now. I think I am in a memory, a Max memory. He's in California because that's on GTA. Yeah, that's some Wars of Dogtown looking stuff. Yeah. Do you see her? Do you see Max? No, but she's here. She, she has, has to be here. They're about to find out that the backstory that we're missing about Max. Okay, she's in initiate phase three. She's in. Move on to phase three. Copy that. Initiating phase three. Let's hope they hear this. Chrissy, this is from you. Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> Master of Puppets by Metallica. Let's go. <laughs> Look at Dustin. <laughs> Hopefully oh. they like it. Hopefully they like Metallica. <laughs> they do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's go. Jump, this jump, is so jump, cool. Jump, jump. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. They see Erica. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's the <laughs> oh shoot. Max has to confront Billy again. Oh my god. <laughs> he laid Erica out, boy. Better get off of her. Here we go. Best part. This is the best this part. This is the best part of Stranger <laughs> Things I've ever seen. <laughs> He said 20 seconds, I gotta hit the solo real quick. Aww. That part was crazy, baby. I oh my it. gosh, that was good. And we're back at the snowball. Oh, shit. Eddie, come on. Oh my god. I'm so glad I got the Eddie wig. <laughs> Eddie's cool. I don't know, Steve. Maybe you're number two, Steve. <laughs> Dude, mom, that was awesome. Metal. <laughs> I love how hyped they are about it. Dustin looks so cool. Uh, I, I don't know. I just love that part. I love that part too. Dustin was like. That just top never ending story for me. That top running up the hill with Max. Oh uh, yeah. Those are my top three favorites. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God. All the monsters are free. I thought that one Demigorgon who could stand up would be enough. Oh my gosh. What'd you see comrade? Baba Yaga. Monster. The monster got in. The guards, they tried to stop it. Their gunfire shattered the tanks. The others came alive. The particles. Ask him about the particles. He says they call it the shadow. Went into them. Into Went who? Into them. They probably powered Come them on. things up. Opera Jacket was highly flammable, doesn't it? The shadow is in them. Dang, man. How are you gonna avoid that? That's not good. Okay. It's okay. I feel like Robin's not gonna be good at that. <laughs> Come on, girl. You got it. You got it. Nah, that's Uma's daughter. She got it. Shouldn't you be playing with dolls or something? Shouldn't you bag your face? Oh. <laughs> Max! Oh, she just skates off. I found her, but she's young. She can't see me, can't hear me. Do you see anything weird in this memory? Any sign of Vecna or, or the Mind Flayer? No, everything is normal. Except the snowball. There the is DJ something. Table. Is it the DJ it table? Be, it looked like it. I think it is another memory. A memory within a memory? Yeah, poor Elle doesn't know much about those things. Just can't explain what that is. She's just hanging out in that, in the snowball. Like on it. Yeah, exactly. Pennywise is up in here. Oh, that's Victor Creels. It's fading into the upside down. Right. <clears throat> or at least I think it is. Yes, it definitely is. Poor Lucas, he's so helpless. He's just sitting there. Can't do anything. 
Oh yeah, because Erica's getting held out. And I'll break your arm. He got in there? He's gonna see her right now and think his Oh my god. Oh shoot. To leave. Be careful, there's coffee on the side. I don't want you to spill it on your shirt. Listen, Jason, you need to go, man. Hey, can you hear me? Jason, don't touch her. I'm not messing around. Hey, Jason, please, just hey, hey, back up. Back up. No, 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 step. We, 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 do, we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this, man. Yeah, I hope you're right. Wait, is there anyone else in the house? No. Turn around. No. What? Turn around! Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. And put down your flashlight and empty your pockets. Empty your pockets! Oh my gosh. Can you please stop doing this? Now, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna back away to the top of the stairs there. And I'll watch as you wake her up from whatever the hell this is. I can't. Jason, if I wake her too soon, we all die. Yeah. Dude. If you don't wake her up right now, you die, Sinclair. Just you. Oh my god, no. I told you that kid's just doing too much. Way too much right you now. Shut off this fence, right? Yeah. Good. So you can turn it back on again. Jim, you want to clue us in on what you're thinking here, or are we just supposed to read your mind? This pit was designed to trap monsters. We get them in here, we lock it up, we rain fire from above, and we hope to hell that gives Al and the kids an upper hand. Okay. I'm with you. <laughs> Except the whole uh, getting them all in here part. It's a hive mind. You draw one, you draw them all. You're the grill master. And you, you're the jailer. You get that fence turned on, and once they're all in here, you lock that door behind them. What about you? I'm the bait. No. No, not- We couldn't lose Hopper, could not we? Not again, dude. I, I can't. See him in the laundry room? I have to see him in L. Reed night. He's from here. He's all alone. He's our target. She's like, I can't lose another person to these dogs. I'm gonna die someday, but not today. I still got a date to make, remember? I don't know, Hop. This time, it's gonna be different. It better be. I am not having another funeral. Um. Kiss her, Hop. Look at these savages. <laughs> Take him shit! Give up that easy, Hop! Shh. <laughs> They're on the roof. Shit, 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 shit. Oh no. They can't get in through there, can they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one at a time, just stab them. I wouldn't want to stick my face in there. <laughs> Robin looks like she's in ROTC. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh my gosh. Nancy! Get Nancy. Go, Nancy. Go, Steve. Yes. Boy, Steve. I wonder if that's going to draw the bats in, though, to where they're at. Oh my God. No. Hopper's been trapped like that before, though, and he made it. So maybe. Just maybe. Maybe when they start burning stuff, it'll help. Or something. This is like the same thing that happened to Bob, remember on the camera and the dog? Ugh. Yeah, that bottom of lead. That dog is strong, boy. Oh, nice. Good idea. Oh, shit. Nice. Thanks. Are there any other vents? Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, shoot. Those things are tough. He threw Dustin out the way. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Eddie, 
Go, Eddie, go! What? Eddie! Ah! Why? No, Eddie, stop! Eddie, stop! Stop! Oh, he's blocking the entrance? Eddie, what are you doing? Buy more time. Oh, Eddie, please! Oh my god. Well, if you're gonna do it, just do it, but you better go. Oh my gosh. This shit's about to give me a heart attack. <laughs> this is too much. Sorry for cussing. No. You can't hide from me, man. You think I don't see what you're doing? Is Mike a good kisser? You think I don't see everything? You thought you could trick me. You thought your friend could stop me. I see them. I see your friends. Just as clearly as I see you. I can feel them. I can feel them. Dying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. It's time. No. We call him Fekna. He lives in another dimension. That's why you can't see him. And Eddie Munson and his, his Hellfire Acolytes. Will you all summon this Vecna? No, no, you're, you're not listening. Just listen. There, there's no cult. There never was. You expect me to believe that? It's the truth. Then why was Chrissy at Eddie's trailer? She was buying drugs. Liar! Chrissy, she was seeing things. Terrible things. Things Vecna forced her to see. She was scared. She just needed help. See, that's how I know you're lying. If Chrissy was scared, if Chrissy wanted help, she would have come to me. Yeah, Not you're crazy, Eddie. bro. Not that freak, never. You're wrong. You don't know about her. About Eddie. No. But I was wrong about you. I never should have let you in the door. And I never should have knocked. Oh. I thought I wanted to be like you. Popular. Normal. But it turns out I was just a raging psychopath. You have five seconds to wake her up. Four. Three. Oh. Yes, the Sinclairs. He really would have just shot Lucas. I know. Oh my. Let's go, Lucas. No, no. Oh my god, I hate him. Oh no, she like needs that right now. You are brave, Maxi. Much braver than your brother. But in the end, you are weak and fragile. Just like him. Like all the rest of them. And you will break. Is she gonna float in the air now? L. Yes. L did it. Mm hmm. That's her brother, Loki. There's no way. Yeah. I feel like he's not weak enough yet because Hopper hasn't done his thing. Right. And he's only been getting stronger. Mm hmm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh boy. For some reason, I thought that wasn't going to work. I'm scared for Dustin to go back in. Oh. I didn't know what to do, so hard. I ran away. I just ran and I left her there. I mean, look at us. We are not heroes. Mm-mm. Take next season to be a hero.
stupid ass Jason. <laughs> Oh my god. But he really believes there's like a death cult going on. I mean, you kind of can't blame him. I mean, if you were just an outsider, maybe you would think that it's kind of weird too. But at least hear him out though. Yeah. Jesus. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you real? Did, did I make you? I'm real. How? I piggybacked from a pizza dough freezer. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that is what you say what to <laughs> what? I mean, I didn't think it was the end to him for sure. Back. I feel like everything we've ever learned about L is leading up to this moment. Mm -hmm. Not to mention friends don't lie and he lied to her. If you touch her again, I will kill you again. Is that what you did? Did you kill me? I am so glad you are here. Eleven, this is going to be Max needs to get away. And it's all thanks to you. She's fighting him. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to even say anything right now. Because I just don't really know, you know? Psychic fights are hard. I mean, telepathic fights. Come on, Hopper. Come on, Hopper. It's time for Hopper to come through, is it not? Before I kill you, I want you to watch. No. Watch what? He's going after Max, Amy. She's the she's like the missing piece, so yeah. probably. What he did to you. You were different, like me. And he hurt you. He made you into this. He's the monster, Henry. Not you. You're right. You and I, we are different. And Papa did hurt me, but he was no monster. He was just a man. An ordinary, mediocre man. That is why he sought greatness in others, in you and me. But in the end, he could not control us. He could not shape us. He could not change us. Do you not see, Eleven? He did not make me into this. That was his own choice. You did. Oh, cause she threw him in there. At first, I believed you had sent me to my death, to purgatory, but I was wrong. I was somewhere new. I became an explorer. The scariest explorer ever. An explorer of a realm unspoiled by mankind. I saw so many things in one day. I found the most extraordinary thing of all. Something that would change Everything I saw means to realize my potential, to transcend my human form, to become the predator I was always born to be. The mind player. Oh, he was drawing it too. So he wants to be that? That was, that was you. He controls it. He like made it. He took those particles and shaped it. All I needed was someone to open the door. And he did that for me without even realizing it. And when you did realize, you chose to resist. <laughs> so 
so I sought a means to open my own doors. I sought your power. Oh. So don't you see? Once again, you have freed me. You don't have to do this. You can still stop this. It is over, Levin. Your friends have lost. Oh my gosh. There is nothing, nothing you can do to stop this now. Who was that? Hopper. Oh my gosh, I thought he bit Hopper. Come on, Hopper, you got him. No. Hawkins will burn and fall in the rest of this senseless broken world. And I will be there. I will be there to pick up the pieces when it does. He's trying to strangle him. Oh my God. And remake it into something beautiful. There was a time when I had hoped to have you by my side. Never. But now I just want you to watch. So he just basically wanted to be God. Basically, yeah. Make his own world. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Come on. Try and stay very still. It will all be over soon. That's what Billy said. <laughs> oh no. Wake up! Get wake up, Elle! Wake up! Can't breathe! Elle! Elle! Elle, come on! Get out of there! Stop! 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 Elle! Elle! Can you hear me? Elle! 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 Mike, don't stop, okay? You're the heart, okay? Remember that. You're the heart! Elle, I don't know if you can hear this, but, but if you can, I want you to know I'm here, okay? I'm right here, and I love you! He finally said it. Elle, do you hear me? I love you. I'm sorry I don't say it more. It's not because I'm scared of you. I'm not. I, I've never felt that way. Never. I feel like my life started that day we found you in the woods. Mm. And I knew right then and there, in that moment, that I loved you. I love you on your good days. I love you on your bad days. I love you with your powers. I love you without your powers. I love you for exactly who you are. You're my superhero. And I can't lose you. So this is like her version of music. Okay? Do you hear me? I can't lose you. You can fly. You can move mountains. I believe that. But right now, you just have to fight, okay? You need to fight. You have to fight. Fight! Let's go. She just overpowered the hive mind. Oh my god. Let's go, Joyce. Joyce. Is Max okay though? I mean, she has broken bones for sure. I don't know. Lucas will take it, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> Flamethrower strong as hell. Mm. Jesus. I think we better not waste it. Phase four. Flambe. <laughs> <laughs> they got right up and acted like it, they still had to go to war. Right. <laughs> he said that was just a minor little hiccup. They basically got to just wait the whole thing out, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. That's like a medieval sword. <laughs> Jon Snow. Battle of the Bastards, yeah. I can't really focus though, man, because Max don't look like she made it. I don't know. That's so crazy. Yeah, he's just right there. They're about to see him get crinkled up. Let's go, L. You 
and your friends believe you have won, don't you? But this is only the beginning. The beginning of the end. Hmm. One more season. You have already lost. No, you have. Go for the leg, Hopper. Please make it. Please be a good throw. That's money. That's right on his head. Yes. Please be okay. Hit him in the forehead, Steve. Yeah, he needs one more. Yeah, he's already on fire enough. Good job, Cadet. <laughs> Same with Thurman's daughter. Yeah, Nancy rigged that thing up. She's ready for it. This is too tough right now, y'all. I like how they're just like whooping the upside down's butt on different different planes right now. Yes, everywhere. Just whoop it. They made every single character look so cool right there. Katinka. I would not want to ride around in a helicopter named Katinka. <laughs> Those are my favorite Russians. <laughs> Ever, right? They can move to Hawkins. Bad, huh? No, oh, no, 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 you're gonna be fine. We just gotta get you to a hospital, okay? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Come on. I think it's, I think it's 16 seconds, okay? Okay. I didn't run away this time, right? You didn't run. You're gonna have to look after those little sheep for me, okay? No, you're gonna do that yourself. Nah, man. Say I'm gonna look after them. Say it. I'm gonna look after them. Good. This is gonna magically graduate. Oh. I think it's my year, Anderson. I loved you, man. No way. Eddie. Eddie. Ouch. Eddie! I just thought he was gonna graduate for real. He's gonna die and everyone's gonna think he's a murderer. We no. need a doctor! Call an ambulance! Hurry, call an ambulance! I, I can't feel or see anything. I know, I know. It's okay. We're gonna get you some help, okay? Oh, just, goodness. Just hold on. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I know. I know. I know. I know. I work out. Oh God! Max, stay with me. Max, stay with me. No, 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 no. Max, Max. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Lucas did everything he could, man. What in the hell? Four times. Max. <laughs> Wow. Seeing the Jason then, that's crazy. I mean, I feel bad for him too, guys. Like, he really thought he done stumbled into something apocalyptic. Yeah. That's what Nancy was envisioning. Oh my gosh. What in the hell is going on in this show? Exactly what he said would happen. I didn't think it was actually gonna happen though. I know you're in there. I know you're in there. Wake up, wake up, wake up. No, you're not going. Hi. Hi. Max wanted to have a sleepover. Which one? This is Wonder Woman, AKA Princess Diana. 
Not Hopper, not Mike, you. Oh, she's trying to like give her good memories. I don't know what she's doing. Like, I think she's bringing her back, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Oh, they're all headed out. It's been less than 48 hours since a 7.4 magnitude earthquake rocked the quaint town of Hawkins, 80 miles outside of Indianapolis, in an event oh, that seismologists are calling a natural disaster of near unprecedented scale. The death toll now stands at 22, but with hundreds more filling Roan County hospitals and many more still missing, officials expect those numbers to rise. You can even see the vines and they're calling it a natural earthquake. disaster an earthquake. Eddie Munson, the leader of this cult and prime suspect in the murders has been missing since the earthquake and is presumed dead. But this offers little comfort to the people of Hawkins who are scared angry and searching for answers. Why their town? What have they done to deserve so much suffering? A growing chorus believes the two recent tragedies are linked. They're now calling it a doorway into hell. Great, more hysteria, just what we need. Hmm. It kind of is though. Now indistinguishable from the tabloids. I found some more of your old stuff in the attic. Mr. Rabbit. It's okay if you want to save him, you know. No, he'll be more loved in a new home. I'm gonna order a pizza. Pizza? Look at Dustin's hair. <laughs> They're gonna be like, who's that guy? <laughs> Mom! Hey! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But Jonathan... This isn't an earthquake. I know. I know a lot more than you think. He was there the whole time. We've been trying to call you. I know. I know. I'm sorry. We just couldn't risk contact. Risk contact? Hey, hey. I'll tell you everything, okay? I promise. Where's Lucas? He's at the hospital. Was he hurt? No. No, he's... Oh, God. You don't know. He opened his eyes, and further words died in his throat. He forgot about the need to sick up that horrible parody of wine. He forgot about his mother, and Uncle Morgan, and his father, and almost everything else. Speedy was gone. The graceful arcs of the roller coaster against the sky were gone. Oh, he's reading Stephen Could King. feel a goofed-up grin pulling at the corners of his mouth. Speedy, I'm here, my God. I'm here in the territories. Oh, my God. We've been calling you guys like crazy. I know. We came as soon as we heard. Oh. I'm sorry. They're killing me with this Max stuff, dude. Do they know when she'll wake? No. Mm. They say she might not. Well, they better wake that ass up for season five. My heart stopped for over a minute. She died. I, I mean, clinically, but then she came back. Doctors don't know how. They say it's a miracle. That was all L. Well, Ellen, whoever gave her those powers. I'm here, Max. She's gonna go in her mind and talk to her. What's Dustin's haircut called? You got the little Jerry curl or whatever. <laughs> I think it's trying to look like Steve's. Mm -hmm. Oh, is he? Go out with that. Hi. Hi. So these are blankets and sheets and some some clothes and, and some kids toys. Wow. It's already so organized. We appreciate that. Do you want a tax receipt for it? No, I don't think that we need one. Thank you though. But is there anything else that we can do to help? Okay, then we sort by A. We've got infants, girls, boys, men, women, if anything. Oh no. Mr. Munson, I'm Dustin Henderson. Can we talk? Can't imagine we got anything to talk about. My nephew is innocent. He's still missing. I'll put up as many posters as I need till he's found. Good day to you. I was with him when the earthquake hit. Oh shit. And where is Eddie now? I'm so sorry. He has to go down with all of those, that stupid drama. They gotta clear his name by the end of the next season, I swear. I wish everyone had gotten to know him, really know him, because they would have loved him. Mr. Munson, they would have loved him. Even in the end, he never stopped being Eddie, despite everything. I never even saw him get mad. He could have run, could have saved himself, but he fought. He fought and died. Protect this town, this town that hated him. He isn't just innocent. Mr. Munson, he's, he's a hero. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, this is definitely the best episode of Stranger Things. I don't even think it's close. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. This place is a total disaster. Yeah. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I mean, I get we gotta hide Supergirl and all, but this isn't exactly like a fortress of solitude, man. It's more like a fortress of grodiness. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Looks like he's gathering mushrooms. <laughs> I love the eccentric side. Wow, well, welcome to the club, right? <laughs> I thought he didn't get in. Yeah, he just didn't tell her just now. He had his opportunity, but he just... Did she talk to you at all? Not much. I mean, a little bit. Dr. Brenner, he says that she wasn't ready. And now she's starting to think he was right. That's crap. If it wasn't for her, if she hadn't left the lab, Max wouldn't be alive right now. I know. She's, she's, um, she's never lost before. Not like this. She'll have another chance. Let's hope not. One is dead and rotting. He's not. Maybe you can still hear him. Now that I'm here in Hawkins, I can feel him and he's hurt he's hurting but he's still alive oh my god it's strange knowing now who it was this whole time but i can still remember what he thinks and how he thinks and he's not going to stop ever not until he's taken everything and everyone we have to kill him and we will so i'm assuming next season is going to be about putting in the that ain't good. Government. Oh, Mac. <sighs> Max? 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 Max has a dark mind, huh? Max! So Max isn't even there. So like in her mind, she's not even there. She's like his, what's the word, comatose? Mm. Hey kid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. Farmer hop. <laughs> oh. I kept it open. I kept the door open three inches. Oh. I never stopped believing. No, it's okay. That's why she didn't slam it's it okay. earlier. It's okay. I'm here. She's so literal. I'm here. You look snazzy. Bitchin. Yeah. <laughs> Your hair. I, your hair. <laughs> Twins. I kind of stole your look, kid. Well, what do you think? Bitchin. Mm. <laughs> They're all going to be sitting around one up in each other, what they just went through. <laughs> you aren't the only one that didn't stop believing. Oh. I'm happy you went to your conference. <laughs> it was quite the experience. Oh. No. <laughs> hey. Two inches, Mike. Two inches you now. Grown. Yeah. You shrunk. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Mrs. Wheeler's about to be in the loop now. She's about to know what's up. Hopefully she can help next season. What if she's like... <laughs> <laughs> what if Dustin just screams no? <laughs> like loud. The grass is dying. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I guess it opened back up. Is that what that was? Wow. All right, guys. So that was uh, Stranger Things, man. That was season four of the finale. So, babe, just go ahead. Just how do you feel about it? That was definitely my favorite episode. That was good, man. That, that was, was just so good. Two, what, two hours and something of just like... Perfection. Oh, my gosh. Anxiety, stress. Synth music messing with your emotions constantly. Yes. Jeez, man. 
there's a lot to break down in that. Uh, this episode started out, they was putting together a little four-step plan to take on Vecna. Uh -huh. Jason came in and basically chased Erica down, prevented her from being timely, messed a lot of things up. Lucas had the fight of his life. Uh, Max is basically in a coma right now. And when Elle went into her conscious to go into her mind to like speak to her, she was nowhere to be found. Right. I was I was thinking immediately, kind of like her mom situation. You yeah. know, her mom's there, but not there. Yeah. But like Max might be a little worse off because her mom actually like can like function. Right. And I hate that. Well, because not, well she can't, but yeah. A part of me just wish we would have got some closure on that because we're going to have to wait until the next season to realize if she's going to be okay or not. Mm -hmm. I'm really hoping in the next season, man, she comes out of that coma and she's just a character. Stranger Things needs Max. I feel like without Max, Stranger Things just doesn't feel like Stranger Things to me. You know? Yeah. I mean, she really is just one of the main characters. I know she got here a little late. She wasn't in the first season. But, man, she really could have been because... She definitely adds. Uh, like, her, Robin, like, all these characters that we met along the way, even Eddie, they were all just main characters in their mm -hmm. own way. I really feel like this show just did such a good job at spreading the love around that way. Um, we got one of the coolest scenes I've probably ever seen on TV. Yeah. Eddie starts hitting Master of Puppets, puts on yeah. the best concert ever. Dustin, Dustin's going to remember that forever. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be... Steve the Hair Harrington is awesome, man. Like I'm sure that walk in the woods where he explained the hairspray was really something to him in his young mind. But I'm sure nothing's going to top rocking out with Eddie Munson, yeah. man, <laughs> in the underworld, just trying to save the planet, saving it through rock. I, that was definitely the best. That I was lost the, the words. That man. was the best scene to me, just because it was so it was wholesome. It was just sweet, and it it was so sad to know that Eddie's going down with all this BS. Like that's the worst part, actually, is like. <laughs> Just knowing what he went through, he did all that. He was like, it just sucks. He's going to go down so disgraced. Yeah. And not only does he go down disgraced, he disgraces the name of his family. He disgraces the name of the Hellfire Club. He disgraces the name of White Rock. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of a lot of disgrace was born when Eddie died, man. But the reality is, is it, all of it's false. He's a hero. And I really hope in the next season that... This whole entire conspiracy to cover up what's really going on. I hope this whole entire conspiracy pops. Right. And I just hope some justice comes out. And I just hope that they can finally clear Eddie's name. Yes. He deserves his place in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, man. He really <laughs> does. Not in the Super Freak Hall of Fame. So I know. And the best part was right before he does it, he says, this is for you, Christy. <laughs> Christy. Or whatever yeah. her name is. Yeah. And so what really, really sucks sweet. is I just bought, I was about to be Eddie for Halloween. But guys, I can't be Eddie for Halloween. Like, <laughs> That's sad. This That's character, sad. <laughs> Eddie... Basically, we got to retire Eddie's number, man. Yeah. Eddie's in the Hall of Fame. We have to retire it. That was a one-time thing with the wig and the bandana. I'm not doing it again. I'm not wearing it. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'll probably wear the shirt because it's just that tough. But yeah. I just don't think I could ever disrespect the memory of Eddie Munson by wearing that ridiculously <laughs> fitted wig. <laughs> what a Golly, good episode. That was good. Honestly. It was overwhelming. I'm sorry to interrupt you. It's just I'm having I'm even having trouble remembering what happened because it was just so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. like, there was just so much. But ultimately, Vecta's not dead, though. He right. said it himself. You think you've won, but you haven't. And I thought he was just talking junk, trying to get in her head. But nah, it turns out uh, the seal has been broken or the gate's been open. However mm -hmm. you want to look at it. Because the four clock ticks. Yeah. And I just think it's really epic that a small town mystery. I'm sorry. I'm talking so much. I know you got a lot of stuff, no, it's stuff okay. you want to say, but. A small town mystery of what's going on in Hawkins just completely opened itself up. I don't think they're going to be able to continuously lie about a, you know, an earthquake and all that stuff at this point. Well, no, they can't because there's like red thunder and I mean, red lightning and stuff above. You can't that's make what I'm that saying. up. Well, that's yeah. what happened in the first place. And everyone saw it with their own eyes. They still lied about it. Right. I'm loving it. I'm glad Hopper finally got to meet with Elle. I'm so cannot believe that took the whole season. I thought that would have happened a little before, like for her to have a little fight in her or something. But Mike carried it. He carried it, and it was that was good. I really like. I really liked how Will told Mike he was the heart, and that's how Elle got through her Vecna situation. Absolutely. When uh, this episode just started out, literally perfect, man. Even even the costume design. You know, mm -hmm. I mentioned it early in the episode, but we came out absolutely swinging in this episode. Absolutely. Uh, Robin looked like a freaking ROTC <laughs> member. Uh, Nancy just looked like. I don't know what Nancy looked like. Nancy just looked like. I just like Nancy because when she when she's ready to go to war, she's like all like. like she's, she's not so scared serious. at all. She's so yes, serious. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, like she doesn't hesitate. Her, she's her like, tiny little haircut. She's like 100% who you want in those situations. That's who you want in a foxhole. 
<laughs> Steve, on the other hand, just looked cool as hell with the whole, what was it, machete or whatever. Yeah, kind of thing. Well, he had an axe, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Um, I was really glad that the episode, because early in the episode, we did pause one time, guys, and I felt like the episode was probably coming to an end about the time that uh, Steve and everybody was let go. Mm-hmm. And um, I was thinking, you know, it really sucks that they were such non-factors in this. Like, the episode sort of took them for a while and just mm-hmm. pinned them up and just sort of put, kept them on the back burner, in a sense. And then... When it really came time for it to matter, like every single character just showed up. You well, know? it was like, you know, it was kind of how every superhero movie we watch is they all they have a whole group situation where they're all like backs against the wall. Right. And then something powers them up and then they just fight back. Yeah. It was like that because that's, that's, that's what I how like. it was like. Mm-hmm. And I really thought that they were going to waste an opportunity to like take these ama- amazing characters and really make them show out. But they really didn't. I just think the execution of this show was so good that it almost concerns me that I don't see how the next season could be better. Right. How could this, how can the next how season one up this? It's, it would be very difficult. I feel like whoever, when they were making this episode, they were just in a perfect flow state. Yeah. That was perfect. They were in their that bag, was, as the, the young ones would say. I they were cooking. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I feel like this isn't the series finale. You know, this was the season finale, even though mm-hmm. it sort of felt like a series finale, I guess, because we're caught up, you know? And I guess this is really the first time other than like House of Dragons that we've been caught up and we right, have to wait on something. something. Yeah. But um, like I said, I just think it was perfection. And I'm just nervous that they're not going to be able to top this. Right. I don't want this season or this series to end like week because a lot of series are amazing. But then you get to the very end and it's just the the ending is never quite as good at some of the peaks that you have in the show. Mm-hmm. But man, if that had been a series finale right there, geez, that'd have been probably the best series finale I've ever seen. Oh yeah. hundred percent. But I mean, it could, it couldn't be over because Will was, Will's neck was. No, yeah. It's not and, over. There's one more season. Right. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of like coming to Jesus that has to happen in the next episode, man. There's a lot of people who are responsible for things that need to be put out in the open. Like I know, this whole entire there's just got to be more to the conspiracy, man. There's a, obviously well, I feel like cover up I feel on. like bump the conspiracy right now. Don't we have to fight all, like the this, the land's decaying? Like, well, don't yeah. we have to do something about that? Like right now, because maybe it could venture into the rest of the United States. And that's what it's going to do. It's just going to keep expanding yeah. until it takes over all of like this reality. And, you know, and that was crazy, too, because we just saw it. And I got an immediate it call back when not with just the balloons, but. When Will said, you know, when I came here, I started to remember, I started to hear him, I started to feel him or whatever. And it was kind of like in dairy. It was like they didn't, they, when they were away, they were good. But then when they came back, the memory started flooding mm-hmm. in. I mean, I guess with this episode, we just got to talk about the perfect execution. I mean, I think in the end, just having basically the family reunite. I think, let me, let me bring up uh, Yuri because I don't want to forget about that. Yuri really turned it around, man, became like an awesome character. He had character development. Yeah. <laughs> Instantaneously. There's like, do it for your country, Mother Russia. <laughs> all, all it took was to appeal to his nationalism, man. Yeah. He was ready to go. So just a phenomenal job with these characters, man. I, I want to talk about Argyle. He he was a phenomenal character. Clutch. And so clutch. That that stoner kid, dude, he really did his part <laughs> to help save the world. Yeah, he, he, really, he really did. did. He really and thank did. God that the universe aligned for his little <laughs> his little eccentric self to be working at the pizza place, man, because uh he needed that connection. That connection was huge. Yeah, so. it was connected not only just for that, but mostly for the car, actually. <laughs> I really am shocked at how much I've come to really like some of these characters. Like, even Argyle at the beginning. Well, it wasn't that I didn't like his character. It's just that I was like, what a Stranger Things doing? Because it was just so different, you mm-hmm. know? But I, looking back at it, I just wouldn't have wanted it any other way. No. I think that iconic pizza van riding around is just, it was just what this show needed. Mm-hmm. It was perfect. It was just good. Very good. Very good. And I... I I don't even know where to begin. Like, uh, the, where do you? What do we even say with, for the rest of this? Like, just how great it was. You just praise it. You just praise <laughs> it. And you just say that. I don't think I've watched anything that's made me feel so emotional. Yeah, so you sad. definitely have it. <laughs> well, yeah, because I just felt. But well, I felt bad for Lucas because Lucas fought like Lucas did everything in his power. Mm-hmm. I mean, he really did, right? And I just feel bad because ultimately, all that was taken out of his control, right? Because of stupid Jason. And and like I said about Jason, I understand that kid. That kid literally thought he he done walked, you know, and discovered the spawn of Satan or something. Mm. So, on some level, you kind of got to feel bad for him. Right, you you got to really appreciate how him. brave he was because he was brave and determined. To and like, when your significant other dies, you have like tunnel vision. You only want right. to see what you want to see sometimes. So, yeah, I feel like he knew she was at Eddie's and 
you know, that kind of probably messed with his ego a little bit because like, what's she doing at Eddie's, you know, without me knowing situation? I just don't think his little <laughs> mind could possibly fathom the idea that his girlfriend would go and buy drugs from that guy. Right. I just don't think that. Because he just really didn't know. And he didn't know she was dealing with like Vecna's curse too. So mm -hmm. Vecna's curse was, was why she needed the drugs or why she was asking for them because it was really haunting her. Right. And then I guess... I mean, if you're someone who just doesn't believe in that sort of thing, you know, and then all of a sudden your whole entire paradigm is shifted. You know, I can understand how you would be a little confused, but my only gripe with that guy is maybe he should have just took a little time to listen to Lucas. At least at least hear him out. You know what I'm saying? You got a gun on him. You, you're in control. Hear him out. I just thought it was sad in the end of this episode. I was going to say it, but I felt like I talked too much. I felt like in the end, it would have just felt a lot better if Lucas and Dustin would have been there with the family, you know, but I understand throughout the show. Those cast of characters were closer because they were more of a family in a sense. But um, Lucas is right where he should be, man. He's at the hospital, mm -hmm. which really is just the saddest part. I think the saddest part about the show really is just how, in a lot of ways, like Lucas is really all Max had to live for. I mean, I know that's a silly thing to say. I mean, she's young. She has her whole life ahead of her. But in her mind, I mean, that was like the only she good thing She was just going through life. really tough stuff. And Lucas was like the light at the end of the tunnel always. And I guess it just made me emotional because the way they kept like, like he basically, Just the montages but basically sad. without Lucas, when they like, I guess, got distant from each other, that's when she got cursed. Mm -hmm. That's just when you put that in perspective, that's just really sad. It's it sucks on Lucas's end because he didn't really realize just how bad off Max was, I guess, until this happened, I guess. And everything changed and everything went full circle. And I think that's what made it so good. Yeah, I, I think what made it. What, Even though we lost Eddie, that was still really disappointing. I think the thing about Eddie is. I mean, we could all be a little more like Eddie, right? Uh, I think that the show was just a lot better that they killed Eddie. I mean, let's be real. Like, if Eddie would have survived, I'd have been happy. I'd have, I probably would have been happier, but... He just would have been on the run the whole time. Like, the, he just would have been someone who was on the run because they weren't going to... They're going to keep going with that theory, basically, because they are trying to cover some stuff up. Well, I don't know, man. I just like how Eddie really was able to just leapfrog just to the status of hero. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. I mean, he, he just wasn't going to get that, like you were saying. He just, he, he probably would have never got those flowers. He probably never will get those flowers, you know. But ultimately, we all know, you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to forget. So, yeah, I, I like I how they character. made his arc. Like, they gave him, like, I, I he doesn't graduate. He's just kind of like the leader of their little thing. Like, maybe he brings a lot of, like, eccentricness and positivity. Which made me really upset when Dustin told his uncle that he didn't even see him mad during all that, like all that stuff when all those people are blaming him for all this BS and he wasn't even upset. He stayed true to himself. Yeah, he just, he just, you know, was me and Eddie the whole time. The sad. Yeah, I thought that part was really sad. I think uh, just Dustin just, he just did such a good job right there acting, even like with the lip quiver, you know? Mm -hmm. And I guess it just meant a lot because. What Eddie's dad doesn't realize is it means a lot coming from Dustin, you know, because Dustin had an idol and his idol was Steve the Hair Harrington. And, there, you know, there wasn't really much that could could top that in Dustin's mind, you know. But and then Eddie came along and really just showed you just showed like a whole different. It's just like a whole different level of maturity. And what's and it's funny because in the beginning, he was just so eccentric and immature. Yeah, I thought at the beginning, I remember when they were like, oh, we have to ask Eddie, can we switch? And I was like, yeah. oh, God, he's is he about to be the meanest person ever? Right. But he still said no to switching. But <laughs> yeah. Eddie was here for a good time, not a long time, boys. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Yeah. Uh, I love that character. He'll forever be one of the coolest characters. He really he really will. I, I hate to see him go, but it, he was a great character. Yeah. I mean, a hero. And then ultimately, you know, Nancy and John sort of got back together, which felt a little weak to me. You know, that's one of the only critiques I have is when they're together, it's like theirs is just very like, I don't know, man, it's weird. I feel like there could be more fireworks there, maybe. Well, yeah. I feel like Nancy's a go-getter in the situation and Jonathan's kind of like laid back. And when it, without each other, Nancy was still a go-getter and Jonathan was still kind of laid back. So it was like, yeah. I don't know. But he's more of a go-getter when he is with Nancy. I will say that. She definitely motivates him. Yeah. For sure. I think away from Nancy, he just likes to pass the duchy from the left hand side. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, guys, I'm probably missing so much in this. I, I mean, one we didn't thing even about, talk about eleven. Like eleven was the most important part of all this. We're, we're gonna get to her. Let me let me just say one thing. I I feel like Will's character. I, I, I'm really hoping in the next season, like something can happen with Will. Like Will just gives me this vibe that since he's like going through like a lot of questions with his sexuality and stuff, he just seems like he just really needs someone to like really care about him and i'm really glad to see that his brother was able to talk to him and stuff but you know will was 
He is the most caring mom in the world. What do you mean? I know, but he was such a cute little character at the beginning of the series, and everyone loved him so much, and his mom was fighting so hard for him. But over the seasons, we've seen him sort of grow distant. And then every time he talks to Mike, it's almost like he has to wait until Mike's not distracted by everything for him to get a like get his yeah. words in, you know. And I, I'd really like to see that change, you know. Um, I'd like to see Steve <laughs> find someone that like makes him happy. Yeah, you know, everyone in the show, whether it's like they're in a relationship or whether it's like it's like a platonic thing everyone sort of has like a match do mm-hmm. you know what i mean even like dustin with eddie in the end you know steve was with nancy john was with argyle mm-hmm. uh, but now steve's sort of going to be on his own i mean you saw him, he pretty much sent robin off i mean that was his basically his farewell to being robin's best friend i feel like robin's new best friend will be that girl you know which understandably so she's my best friend but <laughs> um you know you 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 just hope that you hope that Steve finds someone that deserves Steve. Because he's a Steve's good character, awesome. yeah. And when he was saying basically that Nancy made him grow up, that is true. Nancy pretty much did. So it was good to see. I mean, basically this ending was good because every single situation we wanted to happen, minus like Susie Pooh being there, yeah. was happen. And except for Eddie, and of course, like Max is in a coma still. But I've real, I really do have hope that Max is gonna wake up. Yeah, I really hope she does, man. Because. I just, I would really feel like they're just giving us some false hope at this point if she doesn't. I'd, mm. I'd be pretty pissed about it. Um, Hopper and Joyce together is just so cute. I don't think they'll ever get that day to Enzo, though, because that town is wrecked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Yuri continues to just live in a bunker by himself, <laughs> which is okay. And Well, Yuri, you know, I was thinking about it. Yuri needed to protect America, like, to, to save him, because he needs somewhere to, like, smuggle peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> and he yeah. can't do that if, if we die. Right, and they both... They both uh they get fresh starts over there. So damn, this was a good season, guys. I'm just so sad because I can't believe something so phenomenal has come to an end. I mean, I know we got another season. But guys, in the like be realistic. If it gets better than this season, how just how can you? If it gets better than this season, it might be the best show ever. You right. Know? Game because Game of Thrones, you know, like I said, its peaks were just so high, but there was also some some real issues, you know. And there are issues that I overlooked. They didn't really matter a lot to me, you know, but I'm pretty sure. Well, to be honest, now that we're done with Game of Thrones, like I know more about Game of Thrones because I really mm-hmm. like the show. So, I mean, I've spent time on my own watching like Game of Thrones stuff and stuff. But definitely like some of the plot holes in Game of Thrones were a little bigger. You know, like there was definitely some issues in Game of Thrones. But this this show really does have a chance, man. Uh, you know, I think a show that's centered around like a bunch of kids coming to age and stuff just naturally would have a hard time being the best show of all time only because how far can you really take that story? Especially when you compare it to like a, a world building show like game of Thrones. But yeah. I really feel like it has a chance because mostly because the relationships, like I think this show nails relationships. Like it just yeah, does a fantastic does. job from all levels. Like even Murray with the kids is a good relationship. Yeah. Which is weird to say, but like the most like, not relationships are some of the best if that makes sense right some of the just very just the interaction yeah interactions, yeah yeah i love i absolutely love like dustin that. interacting with erica like, I, yeah. I love that i loved it like uh on the one episode where hopper was reading the letter to l about leave the door open three inches mm-hmm. the part that made me tear up in that the most is because dustin walked in and handed a bunch of stuff to erica and it was just like a it was just sad, you know, because like we have kids and they're growing and it was just it was just good to see Erica be included, I guess, you know, and it was just it was just good. Stuff. And this season she was in there. <laughs> she was. She, she really was became like there. a main character. Yeah. Yeah. Like when the cops uh, were questioning, I think Max, Dustin and Lucas. Yeah. Erica would not let them lie. Right. <laughs> she was like, uh, uh-uh, y'all ain't about to lie right here. And they were like, Erica, chill. We're trying to. Tell. And then she got included on the plan because of that. Yeah. But what was it she had to do? Well, she grew into a main character. Right. She really did. She she did. She really did. And that was cool to see because when we first met Erica, she was just an annoying little girl. She was just trying to sample all the ice creams at Scoops Ahoy. And, you know, she's she's played her parts and stuff, but she really did just help save the world yeah. this time. <laughs> I mean, she did a good job. And, God, that was good. What was you guys' favorite part in the whole series? Because mine definitely was probably just like that. The... The Master of Puppets. Well, I could count all my favorite parts up until this point. Like, I knew them in order. My favorite part was running up that hill with Max. That Mm -hmm. part I thought was the best. The second part was definitely, damn, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, it was hard to say. Running up that hill, Hopper, the whole speech with Hopper was really good. Yeah, the Hopper speech was great. Um, The Billy scene was really good. You know, when Billy sacrificed himself, that Mm -hmm. part was so good. Uh, And when Elle saw his memories, that was pretty good, too, because 
he yeah it was the same part yeah 100 percent. but in this episode maybe it's because it was two hours but this episode really gave me like four or five moments that yes you know they we got as many amazing moments in this as we have the whole series you know we, we really did this was just it was just perfect it was a perfect episode Really yeah, was. it was crazy to also to see the snowball again, because remember, it was just like such a wholesome moment and like everyone was feeling good. Yeah. And it's so cute to know that was Max's best moment because I felt I felt her in that moment. Mm -hmm. So it was cute to know that was like where she wanted to be. And that's where she was until Vecna came. <laughs> yeah. Vecna's a son of a bitch. I don't like him. What and do you think is going to happen? Do you have any predictions? Well, yeah, yeah, and now, guys, we can share theories because yeah, because we're gonna be live, right? But a lot of you have probably been like reading and yeah, don't do don't do that. Start us off with like your first theories, right? So we can progress into those theories. Well, I think that the cracks are so big that at this point, you know, I believe that the upside down is gonna continue to bleed into the real world, and I think it's gonna overtake it in the last season. Yeah, I think the upside down is going to happen on like in their reality i think that the two will officially blend mm -hmm. i think that l is going to discover l is going to discover powers that are so much greater than even her ability to like bring max back from the death you know what i mean so and she's gonna have to be that strong if they're gonna close all these right I mean, she's gonna have i'm to just be, hope so. i really hope guys and this <laughs> i hope number eight comes back and helps her that's what i think i think number eight has to come back because we didn't see number eight in any of those visions yeah, we didn't. My my thing is, is next season, there's still going to be kids in a way. So I'm really hoping we get some long term closure if this is the last season. Like, I would like to know that Mike and Elle got married, had babies, all that good stuff. Yeah. Like psychic. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would like to know that maybe Joyce and Hopper. I don't know. Maybe. How old is she? Well, she's a little on the other side. <laughs> maybe maybe they'll get married. I just I need some closure. I really or need maybe a happy they just ending. get to live on the lake and. Be happy and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> right. I really, really, really don't need a bunch of characters dying in the next season. I just mm. don't. Because I, I literally, I can't think of one character that I'm willing to lose at this point. Mm -mm. Because there's no weak character in this. I mean, there's none. Like Even if Argyle went, I would just be devastated. I'll be pissed. His 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 little yellow hat was kind of fire though. I'm sitting there looking at him like maybe I should have been an Argyle. Well, what know. kind of theories was that? You got so distracted. No, that wasn't a theory. Yeah, it's a theory. I don't have a theory. I just think that you know Vecna's gonna come back. He's gonna manifest himself into something different. I think he'll look different, and but it'll still be Vecna. And I think they'll have to beat him up. Because remember when Will when he like basically like got the mind flare like into him, mm -hmm. and remember they were saying like those particles they went into things right so i feel like something with that has to go just keep going i'm just looking through the thing make sure i didn't miss it okay sorry guys i just this is such a good episode i just want to scroll through it make sure i didn't miss it. oh we never even got to know what happened to max right here yeah that sounds like there's more to the story to me so i don't really think that we missed any of the major themes you know that was a cool place it, it sucks that she was in such a social situation you know it seemed like she was really like finding her own way as a young kid she seemed she seemed tough you know what i mean i mean obviously but I could <laughs> yeah, imagine moving. Did. I could imagine moving somewhere like that to Hawkins. It'd probably be a culture shock for her. Yeah. So it just goes to show she really was going through a lot more, a lot more. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching Stranger Things, man. This has really been one of the best shows we've ever seen. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see our full reaction to this episode. And we got a lot of stuff on there, man. We've been on YouTube for a little over a year, so we've probably done movies and shows that you guys probably don't even know about. So. We get comments all the time. Hey, you guys should do The Last of Us or do the Screen franchise, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Done, done, done. Check done, done, check. done. So uh, go check them out for sure. All right, guys. We'll see y'all next season with Stranger Things.